Cameroon's coastal region trash is contributing to the global seas and oceans garbage that is exceeding thousands of tons per year, out of which 60% is plastic. This comes as indiscriminate dumping of plastics is rampant along coastal belts like this. So this dirty beach becomes a worry for Linus Ayango and his community of beach cleaning volunteers who want to achieve a plastic-free ocean in Limbe. We are trying to see how we can contribute to reduce uh, the, the rate of uh, plastic pollution and also to contribute for community development. For fishermen, really now the Akenu is challenging. The large amount of plastic waste covering the beach makes it difficult for them to even sell their catch as the place often reeks. Formerly a popular tourism spot, Limbe has been steadily losing its stream of visitors due to the area's growing plastic pollution problem. So the plan is to make the beaches clean. We are going to continue with the training of trainers in such a way that as we have uh, more than 20 organizations here and 1,000 volunteers, we are going to train them how to manage plastic. Most of our fabrics contain plastics and the common plastics that are in fabrics are acrylic, lycra and polyester. About 69% of our materials are plastic based. So most of this plastic are washed wash into the ocean into microplastics and this microplastic is being consumed by seafood and when we consume this seafood it affects our health. So because of this, us in the fashion industry we have to really work hard to stop microplastics because the fashion industry is polluting the sea, it's polluting our oceans the second highest. It's producing 35% of plastic waste in the oceans comes from the fashion industry. Right now we have uh, we created the Afro Sustainable Fashion Network which brings fashion designers together. Through this network we did uh, we first of all did a questionnaires and distributed to all fashion designers around Boya and some of them we wanted to see those that know that know about plastics in fashion and those that don't know. And we realized that 96% of them did not know that we had plastics in fashion. And these people decided to join the initiative and learn how to reduce plastics. So through this initiative, we had training session. Here, the cleaning is carried out by more than 500 young volunteers from over 14 organizations engaged and funded by the Association for Community Awareness, ASCOA, a charitable non-profit with headquarters in Cameroon and offices in the UK, US and Kenya. The importance of cleaning the coastline, they say, lies in the hazard caused by plastics that often result in diseases threatening the lives of aquatic organisms. The money that we ought to get from beach tourism declines. When we pollute our beaches, then we set a platform for pests and diseases to proliferate. We have a sort of scarcity of fish species in our oceans. And part of it, it relates to pollution. Since 2014, they have engaged close to 1,500 volunteers and collected over 900 tons of plastic garbage. ASCOA has also been sensitizing journalists and community members on ways to manage plastics and prevent them from reaching water channels that funnel them to coastlines. But in the absence of major plastic recycling entities operating in the country, the NGO is only able to work with individuals and small companies. Despite these challenges, in 2022, they were able to fund over 14 NGOs working in the field of environmental protection and mobilize thousands of youth to clean the beaches in the Limbe Edinal coastlines over seven times. Mm -hmm.